Hey, I'm Zach McDonald, your real estate agent with Real Property Associates. And in today's video, we are going to answer this question. How long does it take to buy a house in Seattle? If you're watching this video, you're probably buying a house for the first time or you're relocating to the Seattle area and this will be your first home purchase in the Seattle area. So welcome, I'm glad you found this video and I hope that you find it valuable as we talk through the timeline of purchasing a house here in Seattle. Now, first of all, a lot of people begin their home search online by exploring on websites like Zillow or Redfin or whatever other real estate sites there are. There are tons of them out there. And most people, over 90%, do start their search online. And this could be exploring the different neighborhoods, exploring the listings, seeing what prices houses are selling for. Specifically, if you're moving to the area, there's sometimes a sticker shock in Seattle if you're coming from a lower priced market. And uh, conversely, sometimes people moving from higher priced markets like uh, parts of Southern California come up to Seattle and they think, man, this is, this is cheap. So really, that's all relative. The main point though here is that this exploratory phase takes every single person a varying amount of time and some people do this in a week or two and some people take months and even years to go from thinking about it and looking at and dreaming about owning a home to actually pulling the trigger. So in this video, we're not gonna focus on this or count this as part of the timeline, but we're gonna start with the pre-approval because that is, in my opinion, the true start to the home buying process timeline. This pre-approval process can happen really quickly. You're going to talk with and meet with a mortgage professional. They're going to look at income, assets, credit. They're gonna verify all this information and then they're going to present you with a formal pre-approval letter. They can take this one step further and do an underwrite of your file. Typically, this pre-approval process takes one to three days. It's really fast to do this as long as you are responsive and provide this information in a timely manner. The pre-underwrite, which is kind of the next step, the biggest, I guess the most beefy, most robust approval, if you want to call it that, that could take up to a week. It just really depends on how many files are being processed at that point. Uh, but typically, you can wrap this pre-approval process up, pre-underwrite process up really fast. And if you're ready to go, you can start that second part of the process on the timeline, which is the home search. Now, the home search typically takes two to three months from my experience with you were to just take all the different buyers that I've worked with together. Now, some buyers are on a really tight timeline and they're able to pull the trigger a lot faster. And what I've found is that the more motivated the buyer is or the tighter their timeline or even the less picky they are, sometimes they're able to do this two to three month period in one week or two weeks. So it can be a lot more condensed. It really just comes down to how motivated you are as a buyer and if the right house comes available. And sometimes in a market like Seattle, the amount of inventory of housing is a little bit lower. We have record low inventories in Seattle and even across the nation really low comparatively. And so sometimes it just makes this process take a little bit longer. Now, if you're more picky or you're not as motivated, maybe you have five or six months left on your lease. A lot of people I see in those situations start to push that three to four months period for their search because they have the luxury of additional time. So this search process is a variable part of the process, but most people I find take somewhere between two to three months to go from looking at houses for the first time to making an offer. The last part of the home buying timeline here is the due diligence and closing phase. And a little tiny blip on the radar before that is your offer negotiation, typically a day or two. So really short, minor uh, pause in the action. But that gets us into this final step. And typically this due diligence closing process takes about 30 to 45 days. And there's a few different things that impact this timeline. First of all, what did you negotiate in the contract? And sometimes 
sellers want it to take a little longer. Sometimes the buyer wants it to take a little longer. Um, sometimes the particular loan takes a little bit longer uh, or the inspection negotiations take a while. But typically, you agree on your closing date ahead of time. So I'd say the majority of my clients are writing in around 30 days unless there's some reason to go faster or a little bit slower. But sometimes additional times added if the inspection negotiations go long. So again, 30 to 45 days is your timeline. During this period, you're gonna do things like get an inspection and an appraisal. You're going to also do a lot of the final paperwork on the loan side. I'd say the majority of this time actually comes down to the loan processing and final underwrite of your file. So um, this process on the back end typically does take, like I said, 30 to 45 days. And if you add it all together, you've got somewhere between four to five months from the time you get pre-approved until the time that you close on the home and get your keys. So I think it's really important for you as a home buyer to have a firm grip on this home buying timeline because it ultimately sets the proper expectations for you and puts you in control of this process. If one of your goals this year is to purchase a house and you haven't had this conversation yet with someone First of all, I urge you to have this conversation sooner rather than later. And if you don't have somebody that you trust to talk with about this, I would love to be a resource for you and have this home buying conversation with you so that you can get set up for success. Once again, there are tons of great real estate videos on this channel and if you are thinking about buying a house in the near future, please subscribe to my channel and watch some more of these videos. And please, if you know somebody who could benefit from this content, please consider sharing it with others. Bye for now.